Here's the thing. All learning is state dependent. This is the thing. Information combined with emotion becomes a long-term memory. We know that. Back in school, what was the primary emotion we felt? Boredom, right? Bo half the room is bored, the other half is confused. But on a scale of zero to 10, what's boredom? Zero. zero. Information times emotion. If the emotion is zero, what's anything times zero? Zero. And you wonder why you forgot the presidents, the, the capitals, the, the periodic table, all the things yes. we learned in school because the emotion level was very, oh, was very weak. Wow. And here's why. We all grew up with a 20th century education. 20th mm. century education prepared, prepares for a 20th century world. And at the turn of the century, mm. it was working in farms and factories. Yeah. And here's the thing. It trained us just to consume information. A teacher would lecture and you would just consume information. Yes. But the human brain does not learn through consumption. It learns through creation. Isn't it interesting that school will teach you what to learn, math, history, science, mm -hmm. but important subjects basically, but not how, how to, to learn. learn. What were the classes on creativity, imagination, strategy, yeah. problem solving, yeah. entrepreneurship, critical thinking, yeah, right? Sense. You know, we were, I was talking to, to Bill Gates about the, we were talking about the future education mm -hmm. and I was talking about accelerated learning and mm -hmm. he was talking about tools and technology and, some, and a bunch of crowd was, was, was building and they said, what's missing? You know, you have the tools, you have the theory, and we were like, we came to the same exact conclusion, motivation. Motivation. The questions though, to take knowledge and turn to action, three main questions I obsess about. Okay. Number one is, how can I use this? Okay. I ask this all the time, because I don't learn for the sake of learning, I learn for the sake of some kind of benefit. But I'm obsessed about it, so even I'm not writing it down, yeah. even when I'm having a conversation with somebody how or I'm listening, this? I'm in a conference, how can I use this? Okay. And this is the creativity part. It's okay. like, oh wow, these are all the ways I could use this okay. and apply this. The second question I ask religiously is after I ask, how can I use this, I'm asking myself, why must I use this? Mm. Why must I use this? Okay. Because here's the thing, a lot of people know what to do, they don't do what they know. You can't come up with one reason, you're not gonna remember. Mm -hmm. Because reasons reap results. Okay. Reasons. reasons reap results. Reasons reap rewards, mm. right? Um, Simon Sinek, start with why. Yes. Right, yes. always get into this. So ask yourself why, and the questions make, a, that makes all the difference. So okay. first question, how can I use this? And okay. that's the creativity, you come up with all these ideas. Why must I use this? Okay. The reasons why. And then the third question I ask a lot mm -hmm. is, when will I use this? Okay. I would challenge everybody who's listening, if you're really serious to use this and not just be like, oh, that was an entertaining show. I would say, think about somebody you wish was listening to this right now. Mm -hmm. And let's say you had to teach them tomorrow or teach them or give mm -hmm. a TED presentation on Monday mm -hmm. about the things. If you were to learn with the intention of teaching, would you focus better? Would you yeah. take better notes? Would you ask better questions on social media? Mm -hmm. Right? You would own that information. And so when you teach something, oh my gosh, you get to so learn good, it twice. It's when so you good. teach something, you get to learn it twice. Mm. And then that's a double benefit, double whammy, because mm. you why learn anything? Number one, so you could benefit from it, but mm. why learn it also? So people you care about can benefit it too. I always believe is you learn to earn to return. Oh, that's so good. You learn, and then with the learning comes earning, mm -hmm. and then you could return, you could, you, could, you could pay it forward. That's brilliant.